What neurovascular structure is closest proximity to a probe in the arthroscopic view of the elbow? We are in the final stretch. This is elbow arthroscopy. What I like about this section is it's going to demand some issues of our anatomy and also it's going to be fun because it's surgically related. So anatomy is key here. Let's see what that figure 50 is showing. So let's get oriented. First, we see the probe. This is radial head. This is capitellum. So this is the lateral side of the elbow. Lateral side of the elbow, right just going a little bit distal to the radial head right here, that's going to be, let's go with the answer. It's going to be the radial nerve. So I, I could see if you answered the uh, posterior neurosseous nerve, I'm going to uh, say that that's more accurate than the radial nerve in this uh, particular question. So let's, um, let's, let's say that it's okay to have said the posterior uh, interosseous nerve. So let's go over elbow arthroscopy. It's a great tool. We can do so much within the elbow with the arthroscope, and you see the indications. Loose body removal, osteophyte removal, synovectomy, restore motion. Some of the stiff elbows you do a uh, capsular release, osteochondritis uh, desiccans of the capitellum and lateral epicondylitis. This is a lot of what we talked about today. Contraindications are important. Prior trauma, surgical scarring, previous ulnar nerve transposition. If the ulnar nerve has been surgically transposed, making a portal in that area is extremely dangerous for getting an ulnar nerve injury. So anybody's had an ulnar nerve or medial uh, surgery, in fact, we need to know where that nerve is. Op reports, MRI scan, ultrasound, we need to know exactly where the nerve is. We do not want a nerve injury. So arthroscopy gives you great visualization of the joint, less pain, less morbidity. Same things, you know, from arthroscopy, from any other joint. But in the elbow, it is different for risk because the neurovascular structures and the complex geometry of this small joint puts the elbow at risk for iatrogenic nerve injury. Let's go over some positioning. We have three choices. You got supine, lateral, and prone. All can be effective. Top surgeons do them in all different techniques. Each one has its different uh, needs. This one has a different art holder than this one, which is different than this one. Anesthesia has an easier time with this patient than with this patient. So there's different features of it. And you can use general anesthesia. You can even use uh, regional anesthesia for this also. If you have an issue of nerve risk that you're worried about, you may want to do general and afterwards pain control with regional once you do a nerve exam. Here we go with a question. I hope it's a good one. When performing elbow arthroscopy, it is necessary to evaluate the posterior compartment. When entering the posterior compartment of the elbow, what are the two safest and most commonly used portals? So without reading all this, the back of the elbow has the ulnar nerve behind the medial epicondyle. Anything medial is going to be dangerous. Let's go through it. One, posterior portal, three centimeters proximal tip of the olecranon, and posterior medial. Ouch. Posterior portal, three centimeters proximal to the tip of the olecranon, posterior lateral, create three. That sounds pretty good. Posterior medial portal, don't like medial, don't like medial here in question four. Posterior portal, create tip of the olecranon, posterior medial. Okay, so we know what this is. Basically, have to stay away from medial and the back part of the elbow. Here it is. You see it here. Side view. This is medial, back part of the elbow. Get the nerve there. Here's an example of this transposed nerve. A anterior portal on the medial side would be placed right here. It would go right through the nerve. So contraindication, as you know, transposed ulnar nerve is a contraindication to a medial portal. Here's the portals that we just described, direct posterior portal and a posterior and lateral portal. Nothing medial. This line is outlining the ulnar nerve course. So Here's a, uh, for when you're reviewing this on the ortho bullets page with your uh, table here, it's good to know each portal location, what the anatomy is and what the nerve is at risk. So you know where you're working, which portal, you know which nerves are at risk. 
you'll get all these questions right. Here it is again. You have all of this uh, in a table form in your um, at ortho bullets so that you can look at it. But just to give you an example, if we're lateral and we're worried about radial and posterior osseous nerve, if we're medial, like an anterior medial portal, we're worried about the medial nerves, like the median nerve and the medial antibrachycutaneous nerve. And then you get the idea. Here we go again with some anatomical drawings. Lateral part, here's the radius. And in this situation, we're describing that as you move more distal, the portal gets more dangerous. So we like proximal anterior lateral. We like proximal anterior lateral. We don't like distal. The more distal you go, the more you're at risk for a nerve injury. So we also use blunt dissection. We do things in ways that are very protective of the nerves so that we nick the skin, blunt dissection to get into the joint. What are the complications? You can get stiffness and you can get bleeding. You can get sinus tract uh, formation. Uh, I've had it through the triceps myself, so uh, and then you have to debride it, but it's uh, it's actually pretty uncommon, and it's not as uh, concerning. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. We'd love to hear your thoughts and what you'd like to see next in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.